Hello and welcome to Document. In this video, we're going to show you how to filter through um, items in your Airtable uh, that you want to have as line items in an invoice, as an example. So here we have a simple uh, base, and we've got a linked relationship here for our demo line items. And uh, we only want to show items in our invoice that contain X. So we've got three items in here out of the possible five. So we have our table set up. Um, there are other videos on, on how to set up you know, looping your line items in this example. Today, we're just going to focus on filtering. So um, uh, we have our demo line items. We've got, of course, we've added our demo line items table ID, very important part of our looping process. So don't forget to do that. Um, uh, and in our demo line items table, uh, we're going to look at the item name and we only want to see anything that has an X in. So there are three items in here. I don't know if we can see they're linked here as well. Okay, so how do we do that? Let's go to our document. So here we have our, our template um, and we have a section already um, and we're looping over something called new list. Uh, and to create that, uh, what we do here is we add a new variable, a custom variable, uh, and that's going to be used to filter out the items that we want, and then we'll use this to loop through. So our variable here follows always follows the structure. Our variable, uh, we have to start with dollar sign VAR, and then the name in inverted commas of what we want to call that. So we're calling it new list, but we could call it anything that we want to. Uh, of course, it must be unique um, and not the same as an existing variable. Um, so just make sure you take that into account if you're adding lots of um, filters or you need to filter on a lot of different areas. Um, and then we add our filter function in brackets and we point it to the name of the linked record uh, field that we want to filter by. So in our case, it's called demo line items. Then we want to look for the field inside our demo line items. So uh, that is called item name. And then we want to filter out um, uh, things that contain X. There are various helpers and functions in here. Uh, we're just going to use contains for now, but there are uh, a lot of different filter items that you could, you could use and you can find that in our help documentation in the functions section. We'll leave a link uh, in the description. So um, we've added this, our new variable element here, and then we need to go to our whole section and we need to tell it to repeat and loop, but, but go through new lists. This is the new variable we've created and we're gonna sort them by ascending fields in this case. So our template is all set up. Let's just go back to our air table. Okay, so just to recap, we have demo line items as the field that we um, want to filter inside. In our demo line items table, we're going to take the item name and only uh, filter um, items that have an X uh, in that title. All right, so let's give that a try. We've turned on, we're using our generation link method today. Um, so we should be good to go. So let's give that a try. Click on filtered. We should see three line items coming. Let's give it a second. And here we go. Make that a little bit bigger. And here we can see we have our three line items, uh, each containing an X and everything else has been completely filtered out. Oops. Yeah. All right, so uh, we're all set. And of course, that has been saved back down to our Airtable as our filtered doc in this particular case. So as always, I hope that was helpful. Uh, please let us know if you need any further assistance. And thanks for using Document.